What's going on, everybody? This is Big Sean, a.k.a. Sean F. of YKP.com. And it's your boy, You Blink, Sean Hill, here. That's right. I know it's been a while since you did reviews, but yo, we back, boy. Of course. We back. What? What you gonna do about it? We back. Coming for you. That's right. Coming and for in you. today's episode, we're gonna talk about Bulletstorm. Oh, snap. That oh, yeah. crazy gun game. You already Uh-oh. know. We're gonna talk about the visuals, controls, uh, environment, and forget it. You know, all that good stuff that we usually, that we usually cover. True. So, true. Sean Hill. What's the storyline of the game? Well, it's a B-movie storyline, and you know how much I love those people. Uh, you play as Grayson Hunt, and you were this kind of like ex-special ops soldier that used to run this unit called the um, Deadly Echoes. And then all of a sudden, uh, you get betrayed by your commander, and you become renegade pirates. So along one of your little routine flights in outer space, you run back into your general and you're like, you know what? Screw that dude. We're going to take him out right now. So you fly your ship, um, your ship into them and crash their um, big ship. So you're on a planet. So what happened is that you and this general will crash land on this planet, and it's a big revenge story. You're going after him. You're trying to kill him and make sure that he's dead. Mm-hmm. And along the way, you're fighting his soldiers and some of the population that are on the planet. Oh, yeah. really good storyline. Now, yeah, from playing definitely. this game, you know, you know it's from Epic. This yes. is coming out make Gears of War, Gears of War one and two. Yes, Ain't No Three is coming out real soon. Yeah, yeah. For playing this game, you know, how do you like the game so far? Well, yeah, how do you like the game, matter of fact? I mean, uh, to be honest, it's a great game. When you first started off, you, and you're getting your guns and you you're getting the um, kill shots, which is killing with skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get these special little kill shots. You feel great because you may execute them. It's a lot of fun. But the thing about the game is, is that um, it kind of wears down. And after a while of doing it for like maybe about four or five hours straight, it gets boring, it gets monotonous. Even though you get new guns, you're so still... So I like ask the, the kill streaks, right? Yeah, the, okay. the, the little kill shots. It's mm-hmm. just, it gets repetitive and boring. Well, I, well go ahead, Sean. Yeah, man. I think what it was is that if the game had some type of really good soundtrack to go with the killing, mm-hmm. it would be making it better. Like when it comes to those epic scenes where you're getting rushed by enemies or getting chased and they had some great like um, licensed music, it would be phenomenal. Well, I, I, per- personally, I, I think this game is cool. It's a mm. cool game. Cool $60. Buy it from GameStop. Um, I like, from your, from your opinion, I've seen you don't like, well, the repetitive stuff, you don't like it. But me, I like it because, like, you can do different kills. So the environment is important. The little things you do, you know, the little kills you do, worth it because, like, the more different kills you do, the more skill points you get, as you said earlier. True. You buy new guns, more armor, you know. All that good stuff. So, like like I said, the game is, to me, the game is really good. I like the game, personally. Well, as I said, you're seeing um, Epic try to make an arcade shooter on console. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. And when you go into the arcade, you have some type of, like, peripheral to use in the arcade. You're doing it with your controller. So, it kind of gets, like, a little boring. Because, also, you have this weapon called the whip. The, the leash. leash, yeah, you can actually, you can actually pull the leash and you grab your enemy, it. yeah, and yeah, you can bring your enemies exactly, in, yeah. you can kick. But I think I, sh- I would like the game a little bit more if I had a little bit more freedom with my leash. Wow. And like if I could just grab my enemy and whip them into other enemy and just use them like as a little like little whip, you know, beat the crap out of people with like oh, a little, little, little interesting, little, interesting, yeah, a little frail, you know, spinning right. around, beat them the hell out of the enemies. I think they need to. What it is is looking like. Spoiler alert, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a part two, and I yeah. think they sh- should invest more into the letting the leash be its own weapon. I think they wasn't focusing too much on that, they were just focusing on the kill shot. Yeah, kill- but you know, yeah. this, this is Bullet Storm, the first one, so yeah, eventually, part two, you know, it's gonna. You know, like you like you said, they were, they were, they were, it's a conform yet or no? Uh, well, at the end of the game, you find out that um, your one of your partners in the game, um, Soro, oh, those, Soro, those spoil those, 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 those uh, the hey, whole thing. I don't, no, no, this is one of your compadres in the beginning of the game. He's all a right, cyborg. Right. Mm-hmm. His name is Serrano. Mm-hmm. You find out that he, um, spoiler alert again that he's supposed to kind of die, but he didn't. Okay. So and the general is still alive, kind of. All right, sorry, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, leave it like right, that. Leave it like that. There we go. We got we got you two fans. That's gonna be like. Oh, you spoiled the story. Oh, yeah. no. Hey, oh. uh, I'm sorry, but well, you're not really gonna. You're, you're gonna play the story. The story is like five to six hours long, mm-hmm. but you're gonna mostly gonna play it for the echoes and the anarchy mode. Okay, and um, that is something fun. Echoes are segments from the the main campaign. Yeah, and you do a little tr- like time run through it and try to get as much skill po- um skill points as you can and. 
also try to beat your friend's score. Mm -hmm. So when you're playing it, you see your friend's score like on your left hand corner of your screen. Mm -hmm. So you'll know who you have to beat to be the best of the best. Yeah. yeah. And then you get a ranking, a world ranking on their leaderboards and stuff like that. With um Arnaki, that is a four-player co-op, mm -hmm. kind of like horde mode. Uh, you know, if you're familiar with the Gears franchise, yeah, yeah. it's a horde mode. And you get wave of waste enemy, and you and your teammates have to do team skill shots mm -hmm. and try to get a high score to get on to the next level, That's you know, right. the next wave. Damn, Sean, you're going in today, son. Huh? Yeah, man. I, I was really playing this game. I had a lot of fun. I got bored of it after, like, maybe five days of playing it straight. Um, How yeah. the controls? Oh, the controls are great. Like, Epic makes really good controls. Well, People Can Fly makes really good controls. These are the guys that are behind the game playing killer. And they did a great job. Um, it's fun. You you don't feel like you're messing up on your shots or you're not getting into shots that you're registered. But I do have to say that sometimes enemies do die when you do a skill shot and not get any <coughs> points for it. Mm -hmm. Also, some of the headshots don't count when you do skill shots. Sometimes you don't get any skill shots when you're shooting. That's the main point. But and sometimes, sometimes enemies just ran really die i mean there are bugs and glitches in the yeah. game just like well as, as my opinion i think the controls is very smooth you know when i went to when when me and nelson and michael heard went to the ea event when i was playing the first time it was smooth from then and not now the game is still smooth so the controls are smooth you know in my option the controls are smooth is real good very easy to learn you know if you just you know if you want to get into brother storm or or epic game period it's very yeah. easy to get into. Yeah, like like all like the the main thing is is that you have to figure out in this game how to combine all your skill shots. Like your your weapon you could select three main weapons. Yeah. And you could set them to your D-pad like in Gears of War. Mm -hmm. And you got to learn how to combine all three guns into this massive kill to get a lot of points. So yeah. that's the main thing in the game. Okay. Now let's talk about the let's graphics. Talk about, let's talk about yeah, the visuals. Yeah. Well, let's, you, you you go first. How's the um, visuals? It's Gears of War. It's a, it's a first person Gears of War, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. It looks like Gears of War. The guy's suits look like Gears of War. It looks it looks like something from Epic. Buff guys, ripped, weird guns, mm -hmm. and the that's it. Yes. Oh, uh, unique environment. I mean, every time you you get a little further in the game, they change up the environment. So, because some of the skill shots are environmental, if exactly. I didn't say that before, yeah. Yeah. they are environmental. So they change it up. So one time you'll be in a plant, uh, like a, a plant environment and the plants eat you so you could kick people into the plants and they'll eat them and then one minute you'll be in like a vent kind of like um like a um, metallic kind of town like a yeah. spaceship or something like that yeah and there have vents around you can kick people in vents and they get sucked in so different skill points you get for every little thing around you i think the rituals is just, like you said the same thing as gives the war you know it, it's pretty good like i think there's like you know it's epic i don't know if epic is trying to like or I don't know if they like trying to make the graphics a little bit different, but it's, I don't know if it's epic or you know, but it's the same thing like yes, like yeah. Um, it, it's not it's bad. Not, it's not a. I'm not saying not this bad. is a bad looking game. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. The dialogue is great. I, it is what it is. Like I said, it's a B movie. There's some really raunchy stuff. Like if you don't want your kids to play this game, do not yeah, play this game. Yeah, because game is really. They, they talk about like mm. homosexuality, they curse a lot. They cursing. Curse a lot. Yes, they, they, they're funny. It's a little funny puns that they make. Yeah, but it's a really fun game. Um. What's, so, what's your final thoughts on the game, Sean? Well, well, I'm gonna ask you: Would you buy it until forget it? I would say buy it if you want the gears of three beta, that which is exclusive to um, Bulletstorm. When you buy the gears, um, the bullet, um, the Epic Edition. If you buy the regular Bulletstorm, you're not gonna get on the, uh, the gears of our beta. So, if you bought the Epic Edition, that was a good buy. If not, uh, just wait. I'm um, going to pre-order that beta. Or, um, get the beta key from GameStop or one of those stores. All right. Um, I, would, I would say buy it. Yeah, buy the game. You know, um, if you wanna, if you wanna play this game until if you wait for Gears of War three, buy this game. In my option, my option is still rent it. Just get it quick. Play it for what it is, and then hand it back. Get some achievement points. What the hell can that hurt? Yeah, I, w I would say buy the game. You know, buy the game. The game is great. You know, I'm playing it right now. I love it. Wow. Uh, uh, Sixty dollars. You got nothing to lose with this game. I just to be gave, honest. I just give it to Nelson. So like, <laughs> shout out to Nelson, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that's it. So I would like to make a few. You know, I'm like a, a moments. I know we've been out for a while. You know, we be doing a couple of things. We got so caught up with the streams or with the events that's coming up, but we back. Back in business, raw gameplay. We never, we never left you up. We still here. You know, for our fans, we still got y'all. I know y'all be like, oh, it's raw gameplay. Every time when they do reviews, they stop and do reviews again. We stop. Well, but you know, right now, you know, we here and we're gonna 
keep giving you information or reviews. We got, don't worry, we got y'all, man. We we not going nowhere. You know, raw gameplay all day. You already know, right, Sean Hill? I see you, You know, brother. I got my boy really? Nelson. Nelson, you Nelson. Come to the mic, man. Yeah. You got Nelson, you got Mike, um, Michael Hurdle, you got Corey Ashley. Oh, Corey, come here, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, we got all these people here. Come in, come in for a minute, man. Also, we got a new website. Mm -hmm. That's the good part. Yeah, check out our new website. It's new and proof. Yeah. You know, no, no, saying you got you know, call you Ashley. Oh, Mike, where Michael Hoda at? Where he at? Your Mike. Yeah, but he, yeah, yeah. Michael is he, busy right now. Yeah, Michael is busy right now. But you got call you say something, Corey. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so we're back. Uh, the whole family's back. What's good? What's good? All right. That's it? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it for now, guys. Keep watching. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Stop inviting many people on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay? There's only enough room here for two people. Yeah, but okay? you know what? No, not that. No, no I don't want to show people all the hair. So. Okay, no okay, problem. here you go. <laughs> well, again, this is Sean. Oh, sorry. Corey, and, go ahead. And now, back to the review. <laughs> so, again, this is Sean Hill, a.k.a. You Blink. And you already know who this is. This is Big Sean, a.k.a. Sean F for WarGamePay.com. Well, everything like War is our video gameplay. Am I right or am I wrong? We could, you got it, brother. All right. Give me that. Ah, Damn. Love it. Bye. And we out. Yeah, we out. Deuces. Deuce, deuce. <laughs>